I am Dr. Dave Harris, and I want to welcome you to this series of videos on video and television production. We're talking about video switchers, specifically talking about using macros in this video. The macro menu on this particular ATEM switcher has a lot of information. Let's go ahead and break this down. First of all, we have the ability to record a macro or re-record a macro if we want to use this same slot. We can tell that this macro has already been recorded. This particular macro says, hey, I've got a play button here. That means we have a recorded macro in this slot. If we want to record over the top of it, we can push that record button. The switcher will say, hey, we've already got something here. Do you want to record over the top of it? You would just say yes. We also have the ability to loop the macro. If I push that loop button, then every time or when I push that play button, when it reaches the end of the macro, it's going to start again at the beginning of the macro and just keep on running indefinitely. Next, I have the show names button right here. If I push that and hold it, it's going to show the name of the macro if I've defined a name. It's a lot easier to define a name and refer to the name of the macro as opposed to just simply macro two or macro four. We hold that show names button that gives us the name of the macro. Also, we have the recall button, or if we push that recall button, it's going to say recall and run. If we have the recall button selected, then when we use the key bus to select a macro, which I'm going to show on the next graphic, it's only going to just say, great, I'm ready to go. And it's going to wait for us to push that play button before it actually executes the macro. If we have this recall and run selected, which we would do just by pushing the recall button, it would then change and say recall and run, and it would be in red. We have the ability not even to have to worry about pushing the play button. Once we've selected the macro on the key bus, which I'll talk about in the next graphic, it will immediately recall and start playing back that macro. The last thing on the menu is the delete button down here, which of course allows us to delete macros for reuse. There's two ways to play back a macro. The first thing we can do once we're on that macro menu, which we do on the main menu, we'd select macros, that'll bring us into the macro sub, sub menu. We can then choose the macro by rotating the dial. That's going to give us the number, or if we push that show names, it's going to give us the name of the macro. We then have the macro selected. Alternatively, we can use the key bus. You can ignore all this. This is just to help us identify where our aux outputs are. But this is the key bus right here. You'll notice we're in macro mode. This then becomes macro one, macro two, three, four, five, and so forth. If we have recall and run selected on the macro menu, as soon as I push that button, it's going to bring up macro one and immediately start playing that macro and executing all the tasks that we have. This means by which we can choose using this bus is much faster, as you can tell. It's going to be a lot faster than rotating a dial, than pushing the play button. Oh my gosh, that takes a long time. As far as a user weight, if we have recorded a user weight as part of our macro, as soon as the switcher encounters the user weight in that macro execution, the execution of that macro is going to stop and the play button is going to start flashing. It's kind of saying, hey, you're in the middle of a, of a macro. Do you want to play it from the, from the point that you, want, that you stopped at or that you paused at? So in other words, it's going to play the macro, encounter the user weight, start flashing the play button. That's your cue for pushing additional buttons on the switcher, getting something ready. Then you can reach up, push that play button, and it will finish execution of that macro. As far as deleting macros, the switcher says, are you sure? You can push yes to confirm or no if you do not want to actually delete that macro. This video is part of a series of videos on television and video production. Do visit our channel if you want playlists and more videos. To make additional videos possible, I invite you to visit our Patreon page. As always, I invite you to subscribe for more videos as we post them. Thank you for your support. I am Dr. Dave Harris.